beauties, Karen here today. Um, today I'm going to show you a little easy tutorial on how to look more awake. Um, you're going to need some really easy, um, simple um, products. The first product is going to be a very light color, either a pressed powder or, a, in my case, an eyeshadow. Um, once I apply my foundation concealer and mineral powder, I put this underneath my eyes. And what this does is this just brightens up the eyes. I work weird hours, so I've got to look awake when I'm at work. Um, be it an open or close or an afternoon shift, whichever my boss puts me on. Um, the other thing that I put on is once I get my um, contouring done, my blush on, I put a little tiny bit of the Sweet Shimmer from Ulta, and I just put that on the tops right here, and what that does is it just reflects light into the eyes, which also, again, makes you look more awake. Um, on to the eyeshadows. Um, you're going to want either a light colored eyeshadow or a, um, either a light colored eyeshadow either white or beige or champagne, whatever. Ulta makes some really nice ones. They've got this white right here, which is called Iceland. Down in this corner, they've got silk. And then in the other palette, they've got Sahara Sun, which is a really, really light yellow, which is absolutely gorgeous. Uh, Naked, which is another kind of um, this one's a matte white, where Iceland has a little bit of a shimmer, so it depends on what you like. Um, another palette that I just recently purchased is the Bear Palette. And this one, I guess, is supposed to be like the Naked Palettes. But this one has some really pretty light colors in here as well. The other one is NYX. They do some really good ones as well. And in this smoky palette, they've got a nice white. Okay, on to the tutorial. I have already primed my lids. I used my I Heart Stage eyeshadow base. And I've just applied that all over the lids. And then I'm going to place a little tiny bit of my NYX Jumbo Pencil and Milk on the lids. Simple like that, and already it's brightening up the eye. take my C brush and actually I'm going to go into this bare palette if I can get into it. This one I found at Walgreens for five dollars. And I am going to go into some of this color right here, which is just kind of a nice, very light taupe color. And I'm going to place that all over the lid.
also going to go around the inner tear duct with that. I'm going to pick up my small brush and a little tiny bit more of it. And just brush it right on around the inner tear duct. take my fluffy blending brush and I'm going to pick up a little tiny bit of this brown here in the corner and I'm going to pop that into the outer V just to define I'm going to go into my smoky palette and I'm going to pick up a little bit of the white that's in here on the small brush and I'm going to go right around the inner tear duct again. I'm going to take my fluffy brush and just blend everything out. And then I'm going to take some more of that white from the smoky palette. And I'm going to pop that under the highest point of the brow for my highlight. I'm going to pick up my blending brush again and I'm going to go into some of this dark purple and I'm going to pop that into the outer V. The next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take my white hot eyelining pencil from Ulta and I'm going to line my waterline with that. And what that's also going to do is it's going to make your eyes look bigger. Then I'm going to take my small concealer brush and I'm going to pick up a little tiny bit more of that white from the smoky palette. And I'm going to set that white on my waterline with it. The last thing to do is add a little tiny bit of black gel eyeliner and some mascara.
As you can see, I'm trying to go as close to the lash line as I can. Then I'm going to add a good coat of black mascara and I'm using Ulta Plus Drama. And that's it. I hope this helps. Um, I know it helps me cheat looking tired when I'm at work. So, yeah. Please thumbs up this video. Comment. Subscribe. It's free. And I do love hearing from you guys. Um, you can follow me on Google+, Plus, on Facebook, and on Instagram. And I will talk to you again soon. Bye now.